Good evening, my brothers and sisters. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Come on and clap your hands for Jesus. We welcome you to the initial sermon here at St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ of the minister-elect Rashawn Kennedy. First, we have an opening selection from our gospel choir being led by the elder Roderick Rose. Say amen as they come. With my hands lifted up and my mouth filled with praise. With a heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee, O Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. With my hands, with my hands lifted up. from the minister James Bird. Say amen as he come. All heads bow. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for bringing us here safe and sound. Lord, we ask you to bless our messenger on the day, my brother. Give him strength, give him clarity to speak and proclaim your word, Lord. And let, heal, let souls be healed and someone come and ask, what can they do? To receive Christ. Amen. We pray in all these things, Lord, we ask you to touch our pastor and touch our superintendent who are all here. I ask you to bless our, um, my brother's family. We ask all these things in your son Jesus' name. Thank God and amen. If God has been good to you, better than you could ever be to yourself, why don't you come on and clap your hands? Shout to the God of your salvation. Come on, let's call on him. Jesus. Jesus. Come on, call his name. Jesus. 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 Yes, Lord. Jesus in the morning. Jesus in the noonday. Jesus at night. Jesus. Jesus, come on, help me call him. Jesus, Jesus, come on, lift your hands and help me call him. Jesus, 
Come on and be our help on tonight, Jesus. 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 Yeah. Amen. Certainly, we thank God for uh, Deacon uh, Kennedy's family coming in today. Sister Faye, Sister Carolyn, Sister People, God bless you. And at this time, we have our Old Testament reading from the Elder Jerry Wilson. Elder Elect, I'm sorry. Our scripture reading this afternoon will be from Psalm 34. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For thou shalt soon be cut down like the grass, and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Sanctify the troops down in our hearts. At this time, we'll have the elder elect Delvery Davis will give us our New Testament reading. Our New Testament reading can be found in the book of Philippians, the second chapter, starting at the 12th verse. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my present only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own soul, your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Do all things without murmuring and disputing, that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as light in the world. Hold it forth the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I may, that I have not run in vain, neither labor in vain. Yea, and if I be offered upon the sacrifice and service of your faith, I joy and rejoice with you all. For the same call do ye joy and rejoice with me. We thank God for the blessed reading of his word. Yesterday, we were at uh, Mother Maud Freeman's 80th birthday celebration. Come on and clap your hands for her. And they were, they were asking people to say things. And I remember on Friday night, we used to have service on Friday night, and that was a good time for, you know, you could do whatever you wanted to do on Friday nights. I used to call it the, the, the deacons and ministers crash course night because we could get up here and do whatever we wanted to do, and it would get us ready. But I was thinking back how every Friday night I would come and I, was, I could make sure that Mother Freeman was here. I would look down and if she wasn't here, I knew something was wrong. But on those Friday nights, he gave a young brother something to do. And I just thank God for you on today and God bless you and happy birthday. At this time, we're going to have our praise and worship team come. Say amen as they come. Amen. Come on and clap those hands. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where my sanctified folk at? Where my sanctified folk at? Where the saints at? Hallelujah. Well, that's the praise team. Come on and clap your hands. 
Come on, Sister Liz. I see you come in. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You ought to be on your feet. You ought to be on your feet. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, somebody clap your hands. Come on and clap those hands. Come on and clap those hands. Come on and clap those hands. Come on and clap your hands. Yeah. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's just simply call and response type of evening. The song that simply said, praise the Lord, everybody. Yes, I'm 
present. Yes, I praise. Yes, I praise. Yes, I praise. Yes, I praise. Woo, woo, hey, woo. Yes, I. Come on, come on. Woo. Yes, I. I praise him. 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 Yes, I praise him. Yes, I praise him. Yes, I praise him. Yes, I praise him. Good to me. Yes, I praise him. I'm going to praise him. Yes, I praise him. He won't be up. Yes, I praise him. Yes, I praise him. Yes, I praise him. He gave me. Yes, I praise him. He gave me. Yes, I praise him. All my strength. Yes, I praise him. 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 Come on, clap right Whoa. now. Come on, I got about one more minute. Come on. Woo! Let me hear you clap those hands. Woo! Let me hear you stomp your feet. Come on, come on. Yes, I praise him. 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 Come on and clap. Come on and clap. Whoa. Let me hear you clap your hands. Let me hear you clap your hands. Let me hear you clap those hands. Clap like a love Jesus. Yeah. Clap like you're born again. Clap like a love Jesus. Whoa. Clap like you're born again. Yeah. Yes, I praise. 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 Oh, yes, I praise. 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 Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, I praise. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I praise. Yeah, yeah. Come on, lift those hands, everybody. Come on and give him glory. Come on and give him glory. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. Oh, we see how great. How great is our God. Come on and help me say, how great, how great is our God. Is our God. Sing, with, Sing me. with me, how great is our God. Oh, Come on and testify. You're the name. You're the name above all names. You are worthy. You are worthy of all praise. And my heart. And my heart will sing. How great praise. is our God. Is our God. Hey, you're the name above all
Come on, clap your hands for Jesus. Amen. Come on, stand to your feet. Come on, stand to your feet. Hallelujah. Come on, stand to your feet. And we got to get the cobwebs out. Y'all, come on, raise your, huh? raise your hands. Come on, raise your hands and clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. If God has been good to you, come on and open your mouth and tell God thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're blessed to see another day. Hallelujah. We got food on our table, clothes on our back. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. At this time, we're going to call on our first lady, the lady Vicki Hughes. Uh, come and give us greetings. Say amen as she comes. Giving honor to God, to Superintendent White, to Lady White, to the elders and ministers, the, oh, and to mission, District Missionary Little, and to everyone that's present this evening. I stand before you to welcome you to St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ. Uh, and those who are visiting, we are so thankful and grateful that you decided to come back and support Minister Elect Kennedy. And we just want you to not to just observe, but to get into the service, to worship God with us, and to support him. Say your amens and all support him as he give us the word this evening. But again, I say welcome. Praise the Lord, saints. Come on, tell him praise the, praise, praise the Lord, saints. Come on, praise the Lord with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to ask if our choir will give us another selection. Say amen as they come.
sharing $20 myself. We ask that you please stand. We ask that you put your offering in your right hand to power. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask that you bless this offering. Bless those who had it to give and bless those who didn't have it to give. So that may bless in the field, bless in the valley, and bless in the field. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. You are now the hands of the usher.
Praise the Lord, saints. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus. We're still in service. Certainly, we thank God for the incoming of District Missionary Judy Little. Praise the Lord for you, ma'am. Come on, clap your hands. At this time, we're going to have our presentation of the candidate from Deacon, uh, Chairman Deacon Barry Mitchell. Say amen as he comes. Good afternoon. A servant, someone that's devoted, helpful, and follower, a follower and a supporter, someone that helps others. That's Deacon Kennedy. When, when Deacon Kennedy joined the St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ, he came in as a willing worker, always willing to help and support, and whatever his hands could find him to do, he was willing to help. You didn't even have to ask a servant and as time passed on I saw his zeal for God and for the church and so I recommended that he become a deacon and he served well as a deacon he remained faithful as a servant and a supporter of this ministry at St. Stephen's Church of God of Christ and I believe truly in my heart that he's called of God when he first came here somebody told me that, that they said that that young man is going to be a preacher and we're here today and I thank God for him, and he's, he's well, well more than qualified, I believe, for this job. He has proven himself to be a true man of God. And, you know, so now I am presenting him to our pastor to be a candidate to become a minister. <laughs> Come on, let's get a lot of hand praise. Come on, get a lot of hand praise. David said, I was glad when he said unto me. Let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. Whom the Son sets free is truly free indeed. Certainly I give honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Today you'll find me saved, sanctified, which you don't hear that often, baptized and filled with God's precious Holy Ghost on today. Amen. We honor our presider, the elder Johnny Sawyer. Amen to Chairman Mitchell. Amen. Chairman of the Deacon Board to present the candidate to us. Amen. We honor our superintendent, Superintendent Timothy White. Amen. Superintendent Kelsey Little. Amen. Pastor Albert James. Amen. And all of those who are visiting with us. Amen. Elder Charles Thomas is coming in. Amen. Ella Tyler, Ella Welton Old, Ella Joaquin Ortiz, Elder Elect Delvery Davis, Elder Elect Jerry Wilson. Amen. We're here to support our brother today as he received the call to ministry. Amen. It's my honor, my privilege to introduce and present, I guess I would say, my second oldest son. Amen. And Minister Davis is my first, my oldest. Amen. Then Fowler and Tyler. And BJ on today. And he said unto them, Go ye to all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Lord Jones affirmed that there is an overwhelming constraint within the ones that are calling to do the work of the Lord. He maintained that there was a sense of constraint, uh, meaning a feeling hum in his work. Him that his work is through the will of God that release him to the duty of preaching. And he said, preach to me to proclaim the great truth and the profound implication of his glorious person in the finished redemptive work of the Lord. And I had an opportunity to speak with the minister like Kennedy and minister like Freeman. And they both expressed they has a burning impulse down on the inside, a fire down on the inside that cannot be quenched until they deliver the gospel that the Lord has placed upon their hearts. Rashawn Kennedy Jr. was born October the 24th, 1984 in Tampa, Florida to Scott and Carolyn Kennedy. He's the third of seven children. He was raised by his great uncle and great aunt Clifford and Thelma Canty. Growing up, he attended College Hill Church of God in Christ where the Superintendent Charles Davis was his pastor. Upon graduating from high school, he enlisted in the United States Coast Guard and served honorably until January 
2012. He's currently employed by SMA Drive Technology as a maintenance technician. He is married to his best friend, Sister Ashley. Between them, they have six children, Michaela, Jaden, Mariah, Maya, Mia, and Rashawn Jr. Amen, my godson. Amen, I failed to acknowledge him as my godson as we dedicated him today. At St. Stephen's, Rashawn served in the male course, the usher board. He also served as one of the committee members for Bruce Hughes SeaTac Community Scholarship. Amen, served faithfully as a secretary of the men department. Uh, he was ordained by the late Bishop Ted Thomas Sr., general board member of the Church of God in Christ of July the 21st, 2019. In June of 2021, he was appointed to the trustee board by yours truly. Amen. He serves as an armor bearer to me as well as a jurisdictional ad adjutant to our prelate Bishop Mark A. Thomas Sr. He also serves in the National Church. Amen. The adjutant brother. He's a hard worker, dedicated father who strives to be a man that God has called him to be. Amen. When young men come into the church, we show our love and our expression to them, uh, show the love and compassion. And while he was sitting in the back of the church, Deacon Jerome Cornick saw him just sitting there. He encouraged him to serve on the usher board. We know that when you get saved and sanctified, you need to do work in the church. Amen. And while he was working as an usher, chairman spotted him out and observed his work. Amen. His great ethics and his dedication to service. And he recommended him to Bishop Thomas to be a deacon on the deacon board. Our vision here at St. Stephen Church of God in Christ is to restore and to beautify the house of the Lord. Minister Lake Kenny also is a great servant of the men department along with the other men. They make sure that we have a safe, clean, and worship environment. They do whatever they can do to beautify the house of the Lord because we believe that the, our house shouldn't look as good as the house of the Lord. So we thank God for his service, for his dedication. He's a man to have things in order. Amen. His house is in order. His family is in order. He would do whatever he can do to provide for his wife and for his kids. And every now and again, they would stop by the store and pick up a snack for Vicky and I. He has met 80% of the qualifications to become an ordained elder in the Church of God in Christ. Nevertheless, he had to serve under me, amen, the chairman of the Elder Council for three years before I recommend him to the Bishop Ted Thomas Sr. It is my honor and my privilege to present to some and introduce the other, Minister Rashawn Kennedy, elect. Minister Rashawn Kennedy, hear ye him as he brings forth the word of God. Rumble, young man, rumble. I gave Jesus all my trouble and I cast on him my every care well he took away my trouble and right now I feel alright when I gave Jesus all my sickness and I cast on him my every care well he took away my symptoms and right now I feel all right. Well, I feel all right.
see where God has brought me from. Right now, I feel all right. First, giving honor to God, who is truly the head of my life. He's brought me from a long ways, and I thank him for what he's done for me. Giving honor to our superintendent, the elder, you may be seated, the elder Timothy White and his bride, the lady White. Uh, I thank you for taking time out of your schedule, and to our superintendent, Kelsey Little, our AIM chairman, we thank you for worshiping with us on tonight. I'm a little nervous, so y'all excuse me. To all the elders, ministers, mothers, missionaries, um, everybody in their respective places, we honor you on tonight. But I have to say, to one of my most favorite people in the whole wide world, District Missionary Judy Little. We love you and we honor you today. I was in her class uh, a couple years ago at New Testament, and I went to take my tests, and my screen went out, and she couldn't see me. And she said, Deacon Kennedy, I can't see you. And I said, oh, and I'm trying to tell her I'm on the screen, but my screen was on mute. I didn't know how to use Zoom. I said, I'm right here. I'm not cheating. <laughs> she said, next time you better have two devices. I said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> but we honor you on tonight. To all the elders, we honor you and we love you all. Oh, I'm just so nervous. Uh, if you would take your Bible and turn with me to 2 Samuel chapter 22. Um, yes, don't forget that. My mom and my mother-in-law and my sister are in town, so we thank you. They were just here uh, in June, and they uh, made the return trip, and I thank God for them coming back with us. And also, my children are here. My oldest is in Connecticut at school at the Coast Guard Academy, um, so we thank God for that. And to my wife the love of my life, my sunshine, my baby, Sister Ashley Kennedy. She prayed me through a lot of things, and I'm here. But I thank God for my wife. All right. If it had not been for the Lord, on my side, tell me where would I be? Where would I be if it had not been for the Lord? On my side, tell me where would I be? I want to know where, where would I be? He kept my enemies away. He let the sun shine through a crowded day. Oh, he rocked me in the cradle of his arm. When he knew I'd been battered and storm. Oh, if it had not been for the Lord on my side, tell me where would I be? Where would I be? Where would I be without God? Second Samuel chapter 22, verse number one, and we'll read the first through the fourth verse, and then we'll skip down to verse 17. And it reads, And David spake unto the Lord the words of this song, in the day that the Lord had delivered him out of the hands of all his enemies and out of the hand of Saul. And he said, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, 
The God of my rock, in him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower and my refuge. My savior, thou saveth me from violence. The Lord, I will call on the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. And we can skip down to verse 17. And it reads, he sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of the waters, he delivered me from my strong enemy, and from them that hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. You may be seated. And I'm so nervous I forgot to honor my pastor, the elder Bruce Elliot Hughes Sr. We honor him on tonight. Truly a special man of God who is special to me. Uh, he told you a little bit about when we first joined this church and he blessed us. He bought us a meal and I truly believe that that was an act of God because it changed my life. And I thank God for him. And we honor him on today. And to his wife, the first lady, Lady Vicki Hughes. Ah. All right, I got all that out the way. Most people who know me know that I can talk about sports for days. I love to know all the stats all the tendencies and everything of the players, of the teams, who they played for, what college they went to, et cetera, et cetera. In fact, my wife always looks at me and she's like, why do you know that? I don't know, it's my useless knowledge for today. I like to know that players, uh, their training regimen and all the behind the scene things that we don't see on the field, it's fascinating to me to know that a professional athlete puts in countless hours of film study and training to perfect their craft. Uh -huh. uh, see, it, it doesn't matter if it's football, basketball, baseball, soccer, whatever the sport is, there's a time commitment because of the time that it takes. Uh, this time, the, 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 there are families that are often put on the back burner, you know, you can't, they can't go to the personal events like you or I. The players can't spend time with their family. They often miss many events that are important to them and their loved ones. Uh, you know, they're away, they're, they're traveling and they're, they're, they're in the sport. Uh, I'm sure to some that may seem, uh, you know, like a, a sad or something to that nature, but the athlete, they often find great reward in that, whether it be money, fame, friends, or simply the love of the game. So when this player retires, if they have excelled in their respective sport, they are voted to their various Hall of Fame for that particular sport. I love to watch those Hall of Fame induction speeches of the individual players. Uh, you get to hear all about the mothers, the fathers, the wives, the children, the coaches who have helped and sacrificed them over the years. They've, they've given their time so that they could achieve their goal. The players are often moved to tears. Uh, there's a, a great bit of emotion that comes out when they are talking about the many people who have sacrificed for them to be at this point. I was recently watching a replay ceremony and it was of the great Ray Lewis. Uh, he is considered by many to be one of the greatest linebackers in pro football history. Um, he is considered also to be one of the greatest team motivators of all time. Uh, if you ever watch a Ravens game, you will see Ray Lewis and he gets there and he throws the grass up in the air and the emotion fills his body. The stadium engulfs him, and he can feel the power of the people. Uh huh. Uh, you know, and, and he began his speech uh, by thanking his mother. 
Uh, I thank my mom because she brought me in this world. I love you from today. Uh, he thanked her for all that she had done uh, for her. You could hear the gratitude in his voice, you know, that, that, that she had him when she was 15 years old and she sacrificed so much. And you could hear, thank you. Uh, as I sat there, I began to think of all that God has done for me, the blessings he has bestowed upon my life, and my soul began to thank God. I sat there and I thought, what if the world was as thankful to God as Ray Lewis was to his mother in that moment. What if we praise God with the same energy as the players did to their loved ones? What if we took a little more time to acknowledge how good God has been? What if we were moved to emotion for just how far God has brought us? Every day, we owe God our praise. I want to focus on verse number four of the text, which says, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. I want to talk to you for the next few moments from the subject of, I owe God my praise. I say that one more time because I didn't see anybody get excited about that, but I owe God my praise. No matter what we go through, we owe God our praise. In life, there are an array of emotions. Uh, sometimes we like to call it an emotional roller coaster of sorts. At times, we can be so happy. Life is going just fine. Uh, we're in those moments, and, and, and that is when I think we find it the easiest to say, thank you, Lord, or God is so good. Things are going well. He's giving us the desires of our heart, and he's giving us everything. And, and we, as they say, we're living our best life. But then there are times when our lives seem to take a turn like they're spiraling out of control. Nothing is going right and we simply don't know what to do. We find ourselves moping around and for whatever reason, we can't muster the strength to tell God, thank you anyhow. Well, saints, I stopped by to tell you that it doesn't matter the life situation, whether things are going good or bad, we owe God our praise. <laughs> In fact, the Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 16 through 18, Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks. It doesn't say when, 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 when things are going well or when we get a promotion or, you know, when our children are doing great. It says in everything give thanks. I don't care what your situation everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Jesus Christ concerning you see like the athletes acknowledge their family and their loved ones we should constantly be thanking and acknowledging God in our text tonight we find a uh, very familiar biblical person by the name of King David if you know anything about David, then you know his life was filled with many triumphs and blessings. He was a shepherd boy who came to the aid, be an aide of King Saul. He won battles and was known as a great warrior. He was successful in the Ark of the Covenant, uh -huh, and uh, he had many triumphs. But we also know that David had many failures and enemies. I don't have time to list everything. You have to read that on your own leisure. But uh, we know that Saul wanted to have him killed out of what pretty much amounted to jealousy. He, uh, he had his uh, situation, or, or as they call it these days, entanglement. Uh -huh. so you, see, you cheat on your wife or your husband or whatever, and they, they call it an entanglement. They don't call it what it is, cheating. Okay, but we'll leave that alone. We'll, that's a whole nother subject. Uh -huh. 
but he had his uh, situation with Bathsheba and Uriah, just to name a few. Uh, we find David pinning the text in 1 Samuel chapter 22, having also survived his son Absalom trying to kill him. Uh, I don't know about you, but I could not imagine uh, one of my children trying to kill me or make sure that I was gone. Uh -huh. See, David had so many ups and downs in his life, but what I love about David is no matter what he was going through in his, in his life, he always seemed to find a, 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 a way to tell God thank you. If he put himself in a bad position, because let's face it, sometimes we put ourselves in a bad position. We put ourselves in a, in a place where we shouldn't be. We are the ones to blame, you know. We do it to ourselves, but I like it because David, he always seemed to think that God was going to work it out for him. Uh, he seemingly thought that God could bring him through. And as you read the Psalms and other writings accredited to him, you find a man that had his full trust in God. He seemingly always believed that God was going to bring him through, that he could depend on God. When God did what only he could do for David, he made sure to tell him thank you. He made sure that, 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 that he understood that God made it all possible. Even when his wife disapproved of him dancing and being undignified, he understood that God made it all possible. I can hear David right now. The Lord is my rock and my deliverer. In him will I trust. Thank you for all the places you rescued me from. Thank you for saving me from my enemies. Thank you for healing my body, for regulating my mind. See, those things mean so much to me, particularly because just like David, I had some vices in my life. God delivered me from some things, some bad habits. He rescued from me from some dark places. I don't know about you. Maybe God has never rescued you from anywhere. Maybe he's never touched your body. Maybe he's never regulated your mind. But just in case he did, you owe him a thank you. You owe him a praise. You owe him everything because God did it. As parents, we teach our children the value of the words thank you. Uh, we say if someone compliments you, you say thank you. If someone gives you a gift, you say thank you. If they help you in any way, you say thank you. Uh -huh, you guys get it, so on and so on. Two of my children recently graduated from high school, and my wife made them go and get thank you cards beforehand. Okay, okay. She made them go get thank you cards beforehand. That way, when they would receive anything for graduation, the cards were already there to say thank you. Much like our house, many of you here teach your children these things with the hope that once they are adults and out of our immediate care, they have developed the habits of thanking people for their kind acts. Because if you don't acknowledge people or remember people, they remember. Uh -huh. yeah, when you tell people thank you or don't tell people thank you, they may not say anything in the moment, but trust that there's a mental note taken. Don't believe me? Okay, watch this. My wife will always say, uh, do you want to do this with the kids or do that with the kids? And sometimes I'm like, no, I don't. I don't want to do anything for them because they are ungrateful and they don't say thank you. Uh-huh. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So <laughs> they probably going to be upset with me for saying that, but you know, it, it's the truth as parents sometimes we get in our feelings and we think that our actions are being acknowledged, our sacrifices are being acknowledged and we want your children to say thank you. Uh-huh. Or how about this? Your supervisor asks you to do this or that and you do it. But come promotion time, you get passed over. Uh -huh. Yeah, I guess that never happened to any of y'all. Or, 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 or there's a merit increase. See, we have three levels of merit increases, and, and I got the second level. I wasn't very happy about that. So I went home and I told my wife, the least they could have done, tell me 
thank you with something in my paycheck, okay? Uh, that's the least they could have done. You know, show me the money. All right. <laughs> but maybe it's uh, your anniversary, Deacon Corning, and we thank him today because he called me on Tuesday and he said, I'm canceling my anniversary dinner to come hear you, so you better have a word. <laughs> So we thank Deacon Corny. But he had that anniversary dinner passed out for missionary, or planned out for missionary Corny, you know, and they got dressed, would get dressed up in their fine clothes and everything and, and, and go to the restaurant. And the service is great. The meal is great. The wait staff is great. And you just get up and leave, right? Uh oh. I don't hear nobody. Uh huh. No! They send you the bill, you write it out, and you give them a nice tip. You see the, the waitress, you say, thank you for your service. Thank you for the great meal to the chef. These are the things that you do, right? Okay. See, we, we, when we see this concept is no different with God. He doesn't have to do the things that he does for us. He is outstanding. He is better to us than we are to ourselves. These are the things we say, right? So why do we have a problem telling God thank you? I'm not here saying you need to take a lap around the church like myself or Elder Ortiz. You might want to cut a step like Elder Rose, but something on the inside should make your hand go up and your mouth open. And you say, thank you, God, for everything that you've done for me. We owe him our praise. We owe him the acknowledgement. We owe him everything for being so wonderful. All right, all right, all right. In August of 2021, my wife and I were blessed to welcome our son, Rashawn Jr., into the world. We had talked about having another child for a while, and our oldest kids were basically like, nope, don't do that. That is a terrible idea. <laughs> but with prayer continuing to talk about it, we decided to go for it. So the other day, I was looking at my son play, and then I saw that there was a children's book in the room, and it had the title, Thank You, Thank You, Thank You, by Melissa Peck. In the book, it says it doesn't matter how much or how little you have, but when you look around, you can find quite a lot to be thankful for. I begin to thank God for the blessings that my children are. Uh, he brought me from a long ways, and he kept my children. That's a, uh, some people, you know, they, 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 the children are giving them so many problems, but he's kept my children. We just sent my oldest daughter to Connecticut to school where she'd be majoring in government. I thank God for the blessing because he kept my children. But in that moment, as I was sitting there, I realized that there may be someone who uh, can't quite get with what I'm saying. Maybe you don't feel that God is fully coming through for you right now. Maybe your life is in shambles. Perhaps your marriage is on the rocks. Your health uh, may be a little iffy. Perhaps you can't seem to muster up a thank you. I don't know what your particular situation is, but it's simply not good. To that person, I recall a particular passage in the book of Habakkuk, chapter 3, verse 17, and, it, and the prophet writes, the fig tree isn't blossoming, and no fruit is on the vine, and that even though the olive crop fails, and the fields lie empty and barren, even though the flock die in the field, and the cattle barns are empty. See, see, the, the prophet is saying, I realize, God, that everything isn't what I want it to be. I, I realize, Lord, that everything around me seems to be going Going wrong. I realize that my health is not what I needed to be. Oh, maybe my mind isn't where it needed to be. But see, when you go down to verse 18, the prophet says, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will make 
in God, my salvation. He goes on to say that the Lord is my strength and he will make my feet like hinds feet. He will make me walk up on high places. See, when you go through life like the prophet, you got to have a little faith sometimes. You got to believe that even though you go through some things, life may not be what you want them to be, but you can tell God thank you. You got to have a little faith that God's going to bring you out. You got to love on the Lord. You got to praise him with everything in your heart. You got to believe that God's going to do it. Because I got something for you. If you believe that God will do it, the rain and the sun, oh, it might fall on you. But if you believe in God, just wake up one day and say, thank you, Lord, for everything you've done. If you believe in God, he might bring you out the rain. He might bring you out the storm. And you just might not be wet. Oh, I stopped by to tell you today, saints, it doesn't matter the situation. It doesn't matter the circumstances. It doesn't matter what anybody says. You owe God your praise. It doesn't matter what you're going through. He's brought us so far. And by faith, he's going to keep on leading me. He's my strong tower. He's everything I need. I got everything in Jesus. Every time I turn around, I realize that the Lord he keeps blessing me. I thank God for the flood. I thank God for the faith. I thank God for the mercy. I thank God for the joy. I thank God for everything that I've got. I don't have nothing that ain't from the Lord. Everything that I've got, it belongs to God. Everywhere that I go, it's because of God. I don't know about you. Maybe God never brought you from anywhere. But when I look at me, I was an alcoholic. But look at me now. I walk straight up. Thank you, God. Thank you for the strength. Thank you for the joy. Thank you for the love. Thank you, God. I'm getting ready to go to my seat. I'm getting ready to go to my seat. I promise I am. But when I think about God and how good he's been, I might have some scars. I might be branded. But oh, God. He's been good to me. See, you look on your life. It might not be going how you want it to go. But you owe him a praise. Body hurts. Praise. Back hurts. Praise. Kids running you crazy. Praise. Whatever. Praise. 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 that I said something that encourages you. Just praise God. Whatever it is that you're going through, just praise God. Whatever it is that's in your life right now, doesn't matter if you're lowly. God is with you. He's a God of the hills and the God of the valleys. And I thank God for it. If there's somebody here who doesn't know how good God is, the altar is open for you and they'll pray for you, oh God. Does anybody who just doesn't know how good God is? You can come down right now and see why I want to praise him. I'm trying to hold myself together, but I realize I feel like running. You don't know where I've been. But God is so good. He can bring you out of some dark places. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, all standing. Father God, we come to you this evening, Lord, as humbly as we know how, just wanted to tell you thank you, oh God. Thank you, oh God. I don't have anything else but my thank you, God. Thank you, God, for being so good. 
Thank you, God, for loving on us, oh God. Thank you for just loving us, God. Oh, God, we ask that this. If anybody under the sound of my voice that just doesn't know your love, God, bless them right now, oh, God. Anoint them right now, oh, God. Touch them right now, oh, Father God. Oh, God, we just ask that you move in this place, oh, God. Oh, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God. Amen. Yes, I, oh, God. Oh, God, of praise. Yes, I, oh, God. Yes, I, oh.
Oh God of praise. Oh God of praise. Oh God of praise. Yeah, yeah. Oh God of praise. Yeah, yeah. Oh God of praise. Go ahead and pay all your praise. Oh God of praise. Oh God of praise. Oh God of praise. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Oh God of praise. Oh God, I pray. Yes, sir. How? How? Yeah! Oh God, I pray. Oh God, I pray. Amen. Sinner, we thank God for the message. Praise him, Mother Freeman. Praise him. Praise him. Come on, help her to praise him. No, am I? Come on, let's get a Lord a hand ovation. He's good and he's worthy. He's worthy. Lift your hands and say, He's worthy. He's worthy. Oh. He's worthy. As we look over our shoulders and see where the Lord has brought us from. Amen. So we thank God for the message. Come on and praise him. Come on, shout hallelujah. Somebody shout glory. Mother Glenda.
cook it up some in here. We cook it up some in here. Yeah. Come on, come on. Yeah. of the Lord is in here. Come on, lift up your hands. Come on, lift up your hands and say, Lord, I thank you. Thank Lord, you. we thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Woo! Thank you. Oh! Oh! Thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. You've been good. Lord, I thank you. Oh, oh. He's worthy of all the praise. He's worthy of all the glory. He's worthy. He's worthy. Oh, yeah. 
you, Lord. I owe you, Lord. I owe you, Lord. My life, my health, I owe you. Lord, I owe you. I owe you, Lord. I owe you, Lord. I owe you, Lord. Ho! Oh, oh, Ho! I owe you! Here's my payment! I'm paying you now! I'm paying you now! With a price! With a price! Yeah, yeah, I owe you, I owe you, here's my payment, accept this payment, accept this payment, let me pay you Lord. Let me put some on it. Let me put some on it. Here's the praise. Take my praise. Accept this praise. Oh! 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 Here's my praise. I open it up. I open it up. I open to you. Take my praise. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. Here it is, Lord. Here it is, Lord. I owe. I owe. I owe you, Lord. You kept me all day long. You heal my body. You save my soul. I owe you. I owe you. Can't nobody do me like you, Jesus. Can't nobody do me like you, Lord. I owe you. I owe you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I owe you, Lord. Please, Lord, have your way in me, Lord. I owe you this praise. Help me, Lord, to push out my praise. I owe you this one, Lord. I owe you this one, Lord. I owe you this one, Lord. You bless my life, Lord. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, oh Jesus, I owe you, Lord. Yes, 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 Lord. I owe you. I owe you. We used to sing a single song. Reach out and touch the Lord while he draws near. He's never too busy to hear your heart's cry. He's passing by this very moment all your knees. Reach out and touch the Lord as he goes by you will find he's not too busy to hear your heart's cry he's passing by this moment all your needs he will 
We thank God thank for the outpouring of His Spirit. Amen. We've been fasting and praying, asking the Lord to have His way, to let His glory cloud fill this temple, crucify ourselves in vain glory as we yield ourselves to the Lord. And He met us here on this evening again. We thank God for our guests. Amen. For coming. Amen. On tonight, we thank God for the message. Amen. Coming from Minister Elect Rashad Kennedy Jr. Amen. Telling us that we owe God a praise as Minister Sawyer bring him down to the front. Amen. We have some powerful anointed superintendents of our Virginia Beach District. Amen. And of the South Norfolk District. Amen. We're going to say a few words to Kennedy and then they're going to pray. Amen. It's God's blessing anointed upon him. Minister elect Rashawn Kennedy do you believe the scripture of the old and the new testament to be the inspired word of God that the bible is the only rule of our faith and practice that the gospel of Christ is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believe yes I do do you solemnly promise to show yourself approved unto God a workman that needed not to be ashamed Rightly dividing the word of truth? Yes, I do. Then in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the head of the church, the pillar and ground of the truth, and by the authority which he has given his church, you hereby are licensed to preach the gospel wherever God has called you to minister the word. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Minister Rashawn Kennedy Jr. Come on, let's give a hand ovation for him. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give her an ovation. Amen. Amen. And we turn it over to Superintendent Timothy White, Superintendent Kelsey Little. Amen. Let me get another microphone. On me, God anointed. Oh, let the power holy go, let it fall. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anointing fall on me, God our Father, in the name of Jesus. We call on your presence now to 
cover this young minister elect Kennedy in the mighty name of Jesus sign angels of protection over him oh God over his wife over his family in the name of Jesus disappoint the enemy now through the blood of Jesus every trick oh God Cancel it now. In the name of Jesus. Keep them well. Keep them healthy. Keep them vigilant. Endow them with more of your power. We decree and we declare it so this day. In Jesus name. From great to greater. From great to greater. I need a. Come here missionary. Oh. From great to greater. Yes, Lord. From great to greater. In the name of Jesus. We decree and we declare it so. In Jesus' name. Y'all rejoice, saints. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Yes, Lord. Yes Lord. yes, Lord. Don't y'all just stand there. Worship, Hallelujah. worship. Oh, ho, ho. Worship the Lord. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, bye, bye. Hey. Oh. Hallelujah. 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 Oh. 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 Hallelujah. Give God glory. Give him praise. Give God glory. Give him praise. Oh. 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 We owe, we owe God a praise. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I'm going to give it back to the shepherd of this house. Let me just say this as a testimony. This young man came out and said, I was an alcoholic. And God delivered me. I couldn't sit in that seat. One of my cousins, good person, drank every day. I said, man, you got to stop this. Drank till he turned orange. We ought to rejoice for him. Woo. Oh. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 oh. My, my, my. God is good. May God bless you. Stick together. Don't let nobody encourage one another. Bless you. Pastor Hughes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh! Hey! Oh! Hallelujah! Wow. Oh, 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 oh. My, my, my! Hey! Oh. Yeah! Glory to the name of Jesus! to have our superintendents, amen, anointed men of God, amen, praying for Minister Kennedy, amen, it's a long journey ahead of him, but you need the strength of God, the wisdom of God, and the power of God, we want to hear from Sister Carolyn Kennedy, amen, and then also I want to hear from uh, my friend, District Missionary, Judy Little, amen, we have a great celebration coming up for our superintendent, yes. she's going to give us some instructions, amen, we love Mother Little, we love Superintendent Kelsey Little, and after Mother Lula has finished, Superintendent Kelsey Little, amen, is going to give us remarks.
benediction. having us, me and my daughter, all your, sibling, all your siblings are with you. Um, my name is Carolyn Kennedy, I'm the mother of seven, and he's my third. <laughs> I'm nervous, I never spoke <laughs> up here in front of everybody, it's still kind of good. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God for my son and the rest of my sibling, my children, and thank the Lord for having us here. And um, my son Sean, oh, he was the third. He was the quietest one, because you can believe it. He was always peeking around the corner, you know, won't, won't ask for nothing. I'm like, what's wrong? He wouldn't talk, but he just go on. And then he was, I had to make sure he was there see everybody else but him, and I'm like, where's Sean? You know, but he was a good good child, and I pr praise and thank for everything for him. Thank you again. Thank you. I'm proud of you. So proud of you. So proud of you. <laughs> Giving honor to God and to the angel of this house, my friend, Pastor Bruce Hughes, and to my friend again, Lady Hughes, on today, and to my superintendent and pastor, and to uh, Superintendent White, my friend, too, and, and First Lady White, and so many people, to everybody whomsoever honor is due. But I really give honor to one of my sons. I claim him as my son. They were in my class, and I thoroughly enjoyed them in my class. And I have just taken ownership of them. You got to just share him a little bit with me. He's my son, and I praise God for him, and I'm so godly proud of him on today. You have done a tremendous job. I was just beaming like you were just mine. And I praise God and thank God for you. And thank God for your wife and your family on today. And thank God for this service. The spirit of the Lord is in this place. And truly, I thank God for that. I'm not going to get stirred up too much because the time is drawing near. But I tell you, I felt the presence when I got here, and I still feel the presence of the Lord. And when you brought forth that word, I tell you, God was all in it. Thank God on today, and keep on keeping on. You are about a good work. Don't stop. Keep on. I'm godly proud of you on today. Oh, yes, let me get my announcement. <laughs> On August the 6th, the South Norfolk District is celebrating this gentleman right here in the person of Superintendent Kelsey D. Little Senior. We are celebrating his elevation as superintendent. We are just so proud of him. And, and the tickets are $100. We have Eventbrite. But if you can't get on Eventbrite, you can just send it to me, and I'll put it in for you. But we want everybody to come out. We're going to be at Norfolk State University on August the 6th at 5 p.m. And, oh, we look to have a glorious time. It's going to be a good buffet meal, 
It's going to be door prize, so many prizes. Oh, we've been accumulating prizes, good prizes, too, that we're going to be giving. we got a photographer be there, live music. So we are just doing it up in celebration of this gentleman right here. And so we want you to come out and be a part of it. Come out and celebrate with us August the 6th at 5 p.m. at Norfolk State University in the Dorothy Brothers Auditorium. Thank God. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Hughes, for this time. Come on and give God a hand clap of praise all over the building. Amen. We certainly give honor to God, His Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, for without them we are nothing. We give honor to the angel of this house, Assistant Superintendent Bruce E. Hughes. Give honor to the Superintendent of the Virginia Beach District. One of the men that I, I listen to and look up to, Superintendent White, Pastor James, all of these great men and women, Lady Hughes, hey amen. Y'all give it up for Lady Hughes. I've been knowing her since I was, since I came out the womb. <laughs> I've been knowing her, I've been knowing her, hey amen. We celebrate you all on today. but. Uh, I, I had to come. I'm look as they say, eyes tied. I ain't wore me out, doc. I ain't as I ain't as young as I used to be. But I had to come because this is my man right here. I told him at aim. I said I'll be there. I'll be there. And look, I don't want you to feel bad because Jerome told me in aim I could only preach for ten minutes because it was his anniversary weekend, and he had a room. And then told me I got to find somewhere for his grandkids to go because they was in the room with him. Am I lying? I'm not lying. I'm not lying. And you know what I said? Okay. Then afterwards, I said, the Holy Ghost took over. You can't blame me for that. You can't blame me for that. You can't blame me for that. So see, we got, we got kindred things in life. <laughs> St. Stevens, I'm so happy to be here. I just realized in sitting there, it's been a year since I've been here. I haven't been here since AIM was here last year because the week after that is when y'all got all the new stuff. It looks great in here. This is awesome, St. Stevens. But St. Stevens, I'll make a deal with you. It can't be a year no more. Y'all understand, it can't, it can't be a year no more. Amen. I, I tell you this, then I got to do the benediction, and, and I'm saying this to encourage you. Uh, my father died in April 2017, and we had an outgoing appointment with St. Stephen's in June of 2017. I sat right there coming in. Charles, I was as nervous as you could be nervous. Because my thing was... All of those appointments were set before my father passed, so I didn't know if they wanted me because they initially set the appointment with my father. And I came in here, and I knew, <laughs> I knew I was a little different. I was a little different. <laughs> and I said, I don't know, and I was nervous. And Pastor Hughes probably doesn't even remember this. He sat there with me, and we sat there, and as the service was going on, he was like, nice shoes. I said, huh? I was in a whole other world. You understand? I was shaking and everything. He said, he said, nice shoes, man. And that thing just calmed me right on down. I got up to raise the offering and never took a text, and I just went. And the spirit moved in here. And St. Stephen's, I left that night saying, I could be myself. You can be yourself. And that's what you stood up here and did. You was yourself. And God's going to keep, you're going to go from great to greater. You're going to keep on going up, but you can be yourself. The word different doesn't mean wrong. It means there's more than one way to do something. So St. Stephen's, I thank you, and I promise it won't be a year before I come back because I, I got to preach in here at least once a year just to say thank you because y'all helped me with my confidence. I'm just telling you the truth. Amen. Stand up. We're about to go home. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Father, we thank you for a fantastic time in you. 
time filled with love, joy, and peace, knowing that whatever we face outside these walls, you have equipped us to defeat it. And for that, we thank you. God, we thank you for our dear brother, Minister Kennedy. God, continue to pour out into his life, in his family's life, God, in his mind and in his spirit, God. God, we thank you, God, for ordering his steps, God. God, we thank you, God, for giving him what to say and what not to say, for giving him what to do and what not to do. I said, we thank you, God. We thank you for this ministry, God. We thank you for the leader of this ministry and every ministry that is represented on today, God. Oh, God, we thank you for your angel of protection that will travel down the dangerous highways with us and to our different destinations. We love you, we praise you, and we honor you. It's in your son Jesus' name we pray amen and amen. As we always say, tell at least one person, I love you. There's nothing you can do about it.